Hey guys, how's it going? So today is a pretty exciting video and there's two big announcements. One, um, the Mobius, which is the video that I'm going to be unboxing in this video, is going on pre-sale. So basically, um, it's going to be going for 190 Australian dollars, which is about 150 US dollars right now because the Australian dollar is super low. Um, and basically, if you guys are interested in the yo-yo, you can go ahead, pre-sale it down below and any pre-sales will get a free offset yo-yo t-shirt with the purchase. But yeah, first look at the offset Mobius. So let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so this is a first look at the offset Mobius. Um, so this is a pretty, pretty interesting yo, -yo. Um, We'll go ahead and take a look at this. So the box comes out just like that. There's the little motto there. And then if you pull it out, you have the yo-yo. So the yo-yo itself is encaged in this nice kind of box and um, it's kind of got like a foam in cut right there and the strings just displayed like so. So you can go ahead, take the string out and then you can go ahead and pull the yo-yo out. So the Mobius, what's so good about it? Um, essentially, this yo-yo was designed um, pretty out there, and if I was to like, <laughs> basically um, describe this yo-yo with one word, it would be extreme. Okay, so the body is made from the seven um, seven oh six eight aluminium, meaning it's kind of like that weird grade where they can make it really light and it's slightly stronger than six oh six one. Um, the rims are actually made from brass, so this isn't like a, a gold plating, like the, the rims themselves are naturally gold because it's brass, and basically brass is pretty heavy, so this thing has a ton of rim weight. So let me give you some specs here. Um, in terms of di the diameter, the diameter is about 58 millimeters. so this thing is a big yo-yo. Um, what's really striking, however, is its width. So its width is around 45 millimeters. And for those of you guys who don't really know the general like specs, that's pretty wide for a yo-yo. Most yo-yos are only like 41, 42. The occasional 43, um, anything larger than that is considered pretty wide. And this thing's 45. So it's big in diameter and it's got a really big width as well. Here's the punchline though. The weight of this thing is around 62 grams, okay? With string, it's about 62.5, but without um, without string, it's about 62 grams. Basically, the average weight for a bimetal is around 64 grams. This thing, because the body is like really, really slim and like all the weight is put on the rim, on these brass rims, it comes out a very, very light 62 gram yo-yo. So this thing is super, super light. Um, doesn't really play that way. It plays that like maybe like a very powerful kind of drop near which is around 64 So it plays like it's 64, but it's actually 62. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this thing out in action okay, So before I go ahead and play with this thing, um, I want to give you guys a look at what's inside. So if I take apart the design um, And basically it, the inside is very very standard, but I kind of just wanted to give you an insight to what was in there um, the axle is an 8mm axle, and the pads it comes with are your very generic 19mm pads. I'm not sure what pads are in there right now, but it's basically just your standard silicon pads. And the bearing that it comes stock with is a center track bearing. So first thing is that this thing is big, but not only is it big, it's light. It's light and it's also powerful, okay? So this thing's got stability, size, and speed to it. Right? This thing isn't meant to be like your organic kind of tech yo-yo. This is an extreme yo-yo. This is designed to push the boundaries. So, in terms of how it plays, it plays fast. So, you can really like tackle out a fast speed combo with this thing. Um, the spin time's definitely there. It was designed to like rail combo, all that kind of stuff. Um, Absolutely designed to be, you know, horizontal driven. Oops. Very easy to catch. Um, general things is that this yo-yo is big and it's super extreme. It might be a little bit too big for some people, but for what it is and what it's aiming to do, it's designed to be this ultimate extreme kind of competition yo-yo. 
and I feel as if it does that pretty well. Um, the finish on it is actually kind of an interesting finish. So if you look at it, it's kind of matte as well, but it's kind of got like a glossy metallic look to it. Um, the finish itself finger grinds quite nicely. Um, this yo-yo wasn't really designed for horizontal finger spins, that was the last thing. But as you can see, you can kind of pull out a kind of steady one. That's a quick look at the Offset Mobius. Um, if you guys are interested, we made a cool promo video with like drones in the Blue Mountains. It was really, really sick. I had an awesome time filming it. Um, so basically, yeah, you can go ahead and check that out there. There's, there's going to be a link below. Um, super awesome video. I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this thing is going up for sale. So click the link down below if you guys are interested. For those of you guys who get the pre-sale ones, you get a free offset t-shirt. Um, I didn't really show you, but it's got this cool logo on the back. It's basically the t-shirt I was wearing in the video. So if you guys want a better look at it, it's over there. And yeah, that's basically it. Any comments, questions, and criticisms, post them down below, and I will see you guys next time.